brain injury, people often struggle with memory. If you are struggling with memory after a brain injury, there are ways to help. With the brain injury, short-term memory is usually more affected than long-term memory. You might remember things from months ago or years ago just fine, but you might not remember where you put your keys or conversations that you recently had. That's short-term memory. You might also struggle with something called prospective memory. That's remembering plans that you've made, like appointments that you're supposed to go to, or things that you've told people that, that you would do, or to take your medications. Today, I'll give you some things that you can do to help with these difficulties. First, I'll talk about attention. You're not gonna remember things if you're not attending to them. So to remember things, we wanna improve attention. And I'll talk about that. Then I'll talk about some specific ways to actually improve how you remember things. And then I'll also talk about some compensations that you can do for memory struggles. Here's some ways to improve attention. Get rid of distractions when you're learning new information. Face the person that you're talking to. Have people talk more slowly. Keep it simple. Don't take in too much at one time. Repeat back what was said to you. Jot down a few notes, like on a piece of paper or in your phone. And here's some ways to actually improve how you remember things. First, use association. Connect new information with what you already know. For example, if you want to remember someone's name, when you hear that name, think of someone else you know with the same name. Use images. If you have an appointment at four o'clock, picture in your mind a car with four wheels to remember the number four. Then imagine a dog is driving the car to make the image more vivid. Always repeat the information that you want to learn. Repetition helps all learning. Listen to music. Listening to music helps retain new information. If you want to remember something, you can sing it to a favorite tune. Here's some compensatory strategies for memory difficulties. Use a whiteboard, notebook, or cell phone calendar or app to keep track of important information. Keep all important items like keys and phones in one place at home. Use checklists to help keep track of what you need to do. Get help from family members to remind you to use these strategies. Here are some other ways to help your memory and your thinking in general. First, keep good brain energy. That means avoiding brain fatigue. Tired brains have a hard time remembering things. Exercise each day. Exercise has been shown to help the brain function better. Also, as much as you can, try to keep a structured routine in your day. Get enough sleep. During sleep, that's when memories stick. Eat well. What you put in your mouth eventually goes to your brain. Your brain needs fuel. If you give it the right fuel, it will likely work better. There are also people that can help you with memory and other thinking functions after a brain injury. A cognitive therapist who's often a speech therapist can help. Also, psychologists, occupational therapists, or neuropsychologists can help you with memory and thinking. 